You know, I often have people say to me that since we have your videos and your positive daily inspiration, I no longer need to go to church. We're an auxiliary. We encourage you to go to the church, the church of your choice. Matter of fact, I more than encourage you. I think it's needed for your spiritual growth. There's an old uh, story of uh, McDonald's French fry that was laid aside from the container. And in one minute, it's stone cold. And yet with the other French fries in the container, it will be warm for a considerable amount of time. Well, that's the way it is going to church, being with people of like mind, worshiping together. God has a wonderful plan for your life, and an important part of that plan, I believe, includes worship. We should never deceive ourselves. Every life is based upon some form of worship. The question is not whether we will worship, but what we will worship. Some of us choose to worship God. I believe the wise people do. This results in a life that is filled with joy and peace and comfort. Others, though, that you know, have distanced themselves from God by worshiping earthly possessions and perhaps personal gratification. But that will yield only emptiness in the end. Have you welcomed God totally into your heart? Then worship God today and every day. Now, this is first airing on Wednesday. One of my favorite services when I was the minister of a church was the Wednesday night service. It's sometimes more informal. You get to see the people more and spend time with them. I had a wonderful time on Wednesday nights. Worship God with sincerity and with thanksgiving. Worship God early and worship God often. Worship God with your thoughts and your actions and your prayers and your praise. And then prepare yourself for the spiritual gifts that will always flow to people like you who put God first. In Matthew, it says this, 4, verse 10, worship the Lord your God and serve only God.